today is our second day in China and we spent a great deal of time sketching. We started our sketching today at uh, a stockade for the Jade Gate. It was a place where the military would keep all their food and supplies. It just happened to be located right along a river and which acted as a natural barricade from their hostile neighbors who were the Huns or later on they were Mongols. It's amazing that uh, a structure like this, even though a lot of it is torn down at this point, just by time and erosion, that so much of it is still standing because it's just made out of mud bricks. Sketching today, is it's, it was a different type of sketching than I've ever really done because this region is so stark and it's so arid that there's, not, there's nothing forever. And then all of a sudden you come along these these structures, these buildings that have been around for 2,000 years. It's so much different than anything that I've ever experienced or seen before. Uh, while I sketched there though, it was very hot and a little frustrating because there, there were bugs landing on me. And it made me wonder how could anyone ever live this far out into the desert? let alone build things like that monumental. The Yumenguan Pass was also known as the Jade Gate Pass. The Jade Gate was the first outpost in the West for uh, people coming into China from the Mediterranean and areas in India and in Persia. Those leaving, it was the last time they were going to see people that were friendly. And those coming in, it was safety, it was home. Everything first came through that gate and it was known for the amount of jade that would come through. So that's how it got its name. So it was a lot of fun actually having a partner to, to draw with and sketch because you can kind of go back and forth and see you know, what the other person is drawing. Rachel and I have different styles the way we work. She's very, very line oriented and I'm much more loose and maybe scribbly. This is basically the most interesting angle that we can find because it, it's at a corner so we can see some darks and some lights, at least more dram dramatic um, light situation. It's like one of those sand castles on the beach. What is beautiful about the Jade Gate is the detail and the, the texture that's on the wall. On our journey today, we ended up seeing one of the oldest parts of the, the Great Wall that is still standing. The Great Wall to me is one of the only motifs I have for the Chinese culture. But the Great Wall that we saw was nothing like what I've ever seen. I was able to really look at the wall closely. This particular section, they used earth and rocks and straw, and they, they used the straw to hold the earth and they compressed it together. I could have never imagined myself being at the Great Wall today. And I think it's maybe one of the things that made me realize where I was. Because it is a motif, because it is a symbol of China. It was Earth, and I could connect with it. And it didn't take me being Chinese to understand it. I'm so fortunate that I got to see the Great Wall this early in the trip. So that maybe it, it's gonna make everything else a little bit easier for me to connect with. drew at three different locations. Um, I had a really good time though. I think it's been a long time and I had, I had enough space where I was actually working some things out. The objects that we were sketching, the, the, there were more structural, uh, dilapidated buildings. It was a little difficult, but uh, I think that I, I got some good material and some good sketches that I'll be able to use in putting together a series of paintings from this trip.